Welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're diving in deeper to the world of Retail Tycoon 2 to show you how to build the ultimate end game layout. I'll have you raking in cash like never before. Damn, wow. Okay, uh, I was just doing the math. So with this layout, and if you were to get all the money trees here, if you just get three of each in all these categories, you could make a million an hour. So anyways, let me quickly. So without all the money trees, it's going to be about 400,000 an hour. And then with what I have here, I'm getting 700,000 an hour. But if you were to max it, let me go back to how much it was. If we were to max it, it's $975,017 an hour. <laughs> That's a lot. That's actually kind of crazy. If you're curious about how to get the money trees, I have a video about that. It tells you exactly like how money trees work and how to get them. Go ahead and click that link on the top right if you want to. Why should you even stick around for this video? Well, because earlier I just mentioned this can make up to nearly a million an hour. <laughs> That's insane. That is crazy. But you heard me. If you're tired of using mediocre earnings and want to maximize your profits, this video is for you. And also I should mention, I've got a Discord server. I'll plan on doing events and bringing you guys in to do little challenges and in a week how much money can you earn or just like a little race and all that i can make some cool videos off that and have you guys get involved play some games together it's also a pretty nice place for exclusive tips and tricks if you have any questions get on in that discord ask a question we'll answer you as well as all the history we've had we've done a lot of testing overall and just having fun chat there talk to each other have fun a lot of community support in there you stuck on something you got really confused you could leave in the youtube comments or even go to the discord and you'll get even more help there click the link down below to join the awesome roblox tycoon community all right and now we're going to start by having to destroy everything so all right and now to start building this if you have a lot of land already you're going to want to delete it so if you go to manage store and you close it make sure it's closed and all the customers will slowly go away. And honestly, in my opinion, if you leave and join back, they'll all disappear. So you're fine to work like that. Also, your workers, you're going to want to pause them if you have any. Okay, now that they're all gone, we can go ahead and start just dismantling everything. I like to just go up on the roof and also have this top-down camera and just drag click everything. All right, now everything's gone. It's so empty here. So, you'll realize I had bought the game pass, but I'm not going to use it for this build. So if you don't have it, don't worry, we're not even going to use it. Alright, now that everything's deleted, I also added in this brick around the sides. That's the game pass. So if I go into that area, that's the game pass, but we're not going to use it. Just to prove you even further. Now we're going to start up with the foundation. What we're going to have to do to start this is with whatever material you want, just to put it as marking. Right here in the road, if you go by two and just stretch it all the way across. So this way you can find the middle. And when you do that, you can see there's a bit of text right in the middle. Here, I'll put this down here so you can see it. See where the number 56 is? I'll try to zoom in on it. That's the middle mark. So you want to place an area across that as well. So where that text was for 52, let's go across. And that's the middle of our land. So we're going to want to build it from there. Now I'm going to use a top-down viewer because it's just to keep things really organized for you. Pretty much just gonna design the first floor like this and then we'll do the outside parking lot and go to the second floor and go on from there from expansions we can do. All right, now that we have the middle point here with this big cross, we're gonna go from this corner right here, right here, like not on the inside, but in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is gonna be a six by six square on both sides. So like that, six by six. And this will be the interior, so we can go ahead and use premium stone because it has a nice decoration rating and helps with all the ratings in general. I like using the black one, and we'll just include this whole thing. Right. So this here is going to be a 14 by 14, nice even square, even on all sides. And then for the walls, on each corner we're just going to place these. And then for the sliding doors, I like these the most. You can use whatever doors you want, I just prefer these because it's clean. I'm going to place it on all corners where these lines intersect. And then from there, the windows. You can use the four tile full windows by clicking on the arrow here. You can expand it and then just fill it in. Now we're going to start to do the decoration just a little bit and then we'll do all of it at the end. So right in the middle, it's going to be a fountain. So just line it up right in the middle. Now we're going to do the shelves. 
What we're gonna sell is furniture because furniture sells the absolute most amount of money and per time and you buy it for cheap. If you click here on store inventory, you can see how much you can buy things and how much you could sell things for. Furniture down here is gonna be worth the most. So we're gonna have to place one shelf for every item of furniture that we're gonna sell. So we're gonna go over here to the shelving. On the right side here, we have the one by twos. We're gonna place it all around the fountain. And then we're gonna place our two by twos on the outside three corners like this. Now we got our one by twos again. And 13, I almost forgot to place this one down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, one by twos. And then the three two by twos here on the corners. We can go ahead and stock shelves just because we're here already. And there's not decoration, it makes it easier. And there's less stuff to worry about. You can place these in any order you want, so I'm just gonna start throwing it down. And to know what we're placing down, click here on the one by twos and you scroll all the way down. Small furniture, everything here. Large furniture, exercise equipment, game tables, you can use all those. And then the two by twos, you can use bed, dining table, and the workout equipment. All right, now to keep building the inside, go to amenities. We're gonna have our trash can, you can do whatever you want. And place on four corners right here. Now we're going to do decoration, hanging pots, it's going to be all across here. So just from where the 2x2s two two are on the outside corner and I just connect them all, make a nice little square. So that makes our decoration rating really nice, really good. Alright, now though, for security, if we go over to infrastructure, the security gates, we're going to want to place these. We place them on the inside or outside, I'm just going to place them on the inside. In front of every door, you're going to want two of them. You don't have to place them on both sides, just the one's fine. Alright, now for the outside of the doors. For amenities, right outside the door, we're going to place our little carts right here, the mobility scooters. We're going to place the shopping bag, just on the other side of that. And then an infrastructure finance rep, we're going to place right here. And then last thing, go to your customer service, self-checkout, could be on the outside too. And we're just going to copy that on every single side. Now that we have all that, we're going to go ahead and place our movement elevators. And we're going to have it facing uh, the inside like this, like towards us. But on this side, we're also going to have it facing this side. So make sure it's always facing towards the outside of the store. So that no two doors are facing the same direction. While we already have the elevator selected, we're going to place them above each other, but have them face inwards. So you see how the doors are facing each other there and there? I'm gonna have that done like that. Now for the outside parking lot, we're gonna wanna go ahead and place, you could do the premium stone again, you could do whichever one you want. And then we're gonna place a three by three all the way across, just like that. So that's gonna be like the little walking area from people getting out of their cars. We're gonna have our electric vehicle parking because we can do 10 of these and that's the max and just place them Five of them so one goes straight with the door and the two on the outside of that and the two on the outside of that as well and just copy the same thing everywhere else on the other side and now we can't do the electric parking anymore so we're gonna have to do just the normal parking spaces and do the same thing now you're probably gonna think like why can why can't i just place more well i found that 20 parking spots is the max you can have after 20 they just don't fill up no matter how many signs you have they won't fill up. All right, now the second floor is pretty much going to be a direct copy of all the shelves down here, except on these sides right here, we're going to put them up towards the sides. So you can go ahead and copy it first with the decoration, the fountain in the middle. And you don't have to build a floor first. It's nice to have it like this so you know just where to place things. Shelvings, by two, all around the middle. And then instead of placing the ones on the top right here, we're going to place them on the sides. So don't forget your trash cans in the middle. Now we can place the floors. So with the premium stone, it's the same one you used for the first floor if you want it to look consistent. Drag it all the way across to connect the elevators to the two front, and then all the way across. From there, you can go ahead and build your windows. If you don't want to do windows, you could do anything you want. I just prefer it because it looks nice. All right. And then from here, so in front of every single elevator, 
they're also gonna have to place their security gates as well. So in the front of it, just the two like that. And then outside of the security gates by the elevators, you're gonna wanna place these two hanging plants. Security gates are really nasty looking and mess with your decoration value. So you want those placed down. Now as well as in front of every elevator, you're gonna wanna expand the premium stone in front of every elevator just by one. Like so. And as well as in front of the electric parking, it places down concrete, you could fill it up with a premium stone. It always does the concrete, so you can just replace that. The shelving, the two by twos. One, two, three. And then you can go ahead and fill up the shelves, just like we did last time. Any order you want, just as long as it's up here. All right, so now all the furniture is on there. We can go ahead and place our decoration. We use the hanging plants as again. And just like how it was downstairs from where these 2x2s two two are at, we go across and just connect all of them. If there was a 2x2 two two here, that's where you would place it. Otherwise, you can stretch from here to there, and then you can just connect where these would line up. All right, and now that since the floor is bigger up here, we're going to have to expand this across. And then we're leaving room for two security gates in front of the elevators. All right, Tycoon Masters, we covered some serious ground today in Retail Tycoon 2, but guess what? We're just scratching the surface. This is going to be the end of part one. I have part two coming out the next day, tomorrow. You're not going to have to wait very long for it. I really tried to fit this up in just one video, but there's so much things to cover, you can't really talk all about it. If you can't wait till tomorrow, we have a community Discord server. Link in the description, like every video. And if you have any questions and want to just see what part two is before it comes out, just hop in the Discord, ask for it, and I can give you it. I, I'm not gatekeeping these secrets, they're here for you. And don't miss out on any future videos. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video when it comes out, as well as future videos. And hey, if you haven't joined our Discord server yet, now's the time. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two.